For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. Illinois is not known as a key chicken production state, but regardless of this fact, the state's land-grant university right here on this campus is a primary player in the poultry industry. In a moment, we'll hear how Illinois' applied research programs and its relationship to the state agricultural production history have managed that process. Farmers in the prairie state raise corn and soybeans, and they do it really well. These crops are used to feed animals and birds chickens. Uh, lots of chickens, but most of them, uh, they're reared in other states. Much of the feed comes, though, from Illinois, and so does the research that supports the nation's poultry industry, says Ken Kolkoback from the University of Illinois. One of the first things we did uh, before I got here was that um, we developed a specific line of poultry where we could uh, color sex baby chicks. And this was very important to and easy for research purposes. We had two breeds, uh, and it was developed back in the 50s, where when we crossed the, um, the two breeds together, we could get chicks that were um, come out color sexed, either males or females. All the female chicks are brown, and all the male chicks, well, they're yellow. It's really hard to tell the sex of a chick otherwise. The research breed is maintained and used on campus still today. It's been uh, very important over the you know, last 30 or 40 years. Um, we've developed um, nutritional programs where we have, uh, for example, fed laying hens a, a non-fee a non withdrawal molting program. And the industry used this in, uh, the, from the research we did for about 10 years. They've used this as the standard in the industry, the laying hen industry, as a method of molting laying hens, and that was uh, done in January 1 of 2006. Today, more than 85% of the commercial egg laying operations molt their hens using the University of Illinois developed method. The history of the specialized research breed, along with the powerhouse production of poultry feedstocks in the state, corn and soybeans, continue to converge to make the Urbana-Champaign campus one of the top five poultry research universities. For U of I Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.